Hey everybody, we are here today with Samantha Hamilton of Art in a Flash Photography to share a little bit about her business and business experience. Um, so Samantha, tell me just a little about your family, um, your military experience, how long you've lived here at Fort Riley, other places, that sort of thing. Hi, um, well, I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida, born and raised over there. Um, I lived there, I want to say for all my life. Um, I moved to Orlando um, to attend college. I'm still technically attending. Um, I'm a senior at UCF, but because everything's remote right now, um, I was able to move out here with my husband. So I'm new to the area. I moved here in October of 2020. Um, my whole family is still in Florida. Uh, we just got to visit them about two weeks ago. Um, so as you can assume, uh, we're pretty new in the army life. Okay. And, like my grandparents and stuff were in the army, but I wasn't really around for that. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Now tell me about your business, art, obviously photography. Um, what sorts of things do you specialize in? What are your favorites? That, that kind of stuff. So when I first started my business, I primarily did senior photos, but for high school. Um, so that's kind of how it all sort of began. Um, I was graduating, all my friends were too, and it was an easy way to kind of, you know, get to hang out with them besides school and do stuff like that. Um, so I love to do portraits because of that. It's always been something that, I don't know, I started out taking pictures of my little brother and then it transitioned to seniors. Um, when I moved to Orlando, I noticed a lot of people were either graduating or getting married. So it was an easy way to kind of divert that. Um, I've done, I wanna say like three really big weddings so far. Um, it's just hard to get clientele back in Florida. So after moving over here, I really wanted to pick it up. Um, I do anything from newborns to maternity to family, back down to just professional headshots and you know, simple portraits. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Um, so how long, I know you said you got started um, in high school taking the senior pictures. Um, how long have you been doing photography, you know, on like a professional or semi-professional basis? Yeah, so I started out as kind of like a side hobby, um, of course, back in high school, which was about four years ago. Um, and then two years ago in Orlando, I made it an LLC. Um, I'm still technically the president of their photography club over there. So I try to lend help to others that want to kind of get started in the business. Um, it's still slow, it's still upcoming. It's definitely a struggle, um, but it makes it all worth it because you get to meet different people and you know just be a part of their lives in some sense. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, capturing photos that are just beautiful is just, I don't know, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great. Um, now you said you're in, you're still working on your degree. Is that going to be in photography or are you going a different direction with that? So I'm actually majoring in hospitality management. So hotels, theme parks. I used to work for SeaWorld. Um, also used to work for Marriott and Wyndham. <laughs> so interesting. I mean, I'd love to travel and it's one of the benefits of being in the, well, him being in the military at least, like getting to travel around with him. Yeah, makes sense. Awesome. Um, well, so obviously you're a relatively new military spouse, um, but so far having gotten here, had to move your business to Kansas and get started kind of from scratch. How has your experience been? What do you think has been maybe an advantage or disadvantage of kind of coming into the military world and community? So for starters, I mean, it's relatively easy to move a photography business, which is amazing. Um, but as far as trying to find like clients and stuff, it's hard to kind of like penetrate the market considering there's so many people that are already here, mm -hmm. um, which it's always great to kind of learn off of them, bounce off of them and try, you know, just trying to work together, knowing that they are reliable. So I mean, you do a few shoots together and kind of become friends. Mm -hmm. Then if they can't do a shoot, they kind of 
suggest you. I mean, it's always it's always going to be hard to find clients. Um, I mean, even in Florida, that was also an issue. Um, Florida is just a really dense in population, so I don't know. There's a lot of photographers over there in general, so it's always about trying to stand out and make your own sort of look for yourself. I mean, everyone can edit, everyone can take photos, but it's about doing it in your own special way. Um, so I try to try to do couples for the most part. That way I can kind of revolve everything around them. Um, and then it makes it easier because sometimes my husband does come with me so he can, you know, he can talk to whoever's serving, figure out where they're, you know, working, make it a little bit more personal. Yeah. And then that's how I've made it so far. So <laughs> yeah, no, that's it's great. still in progress. Yeah, I do think there are a lot of photographers. It is a popular um, career for military spouses because it's so easy to move. Um, but that means there's quite a few, but I would say all the photographers in the area that I've, I've talked to and met are all really, really nice, um, and not like overly competitive. Um, so I think that that helps hopefully. <laughs> it's not, it's just, it's really all about pricing at the end of the day. I mean, that's where kind of like going into an LLC versus doing other actual like branding, um, the LLC is the cheapest license that you can get, and it's more beneficial in the sense that when you're going to be moving around and you know PCSing and stuff like that, it's the quickest route to take. Sure. And after that, you're technically considered a business by the state. You know, there's nobody that can deny that from you, right. and it's only a one-time fee. Um, the other costs come with like trying to ensure your business if something happens to your camera all of that um and that's kind of where i'm in limbo right now i mean we make enough to do it but i'm not out there doing a ton of weddings right now you know especially with covid it's just everything's really short <laughs> um and i mean we just got snow a few days ago and it's my first time with snow, so it's an experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. It was kind of a disappointing snow for a first time, though. That's it was a little true. better yesterday morning, but um, maybe you'll get some decent snow. It's been a very mild winter, so. Oh, yeah. I've heard. Uh, there's a lot of, I mean, staying active in the um, spouse stage. You see a lot of people that are like, we're supposed to get snow. Where is it coming? Um, and I kept planning it in my mind to try doing a snowshoe because I mean, it's just something different, um, mm -hmm. something I've never done before. But every time it was supposed to snow, it just never did, or it was too light. And once it did start snowing, um, I got my husband out there, and I was able to take some shots of him. Okay. But you know, it doesn't amount to getting like a cute couple shot and they're like on top of a mountain or something, you know. So I just wish we had a little bit more time with it. Maybe in the future. Probably <laughs> more. Who knows? It's, it's not winter's not over yet. So there could That's be. <laughs> I will say the weather here, the forecasting here is not very reliable. So you've got to be ready to go when it happens. <laughs> so just do like a flash. Um shoot be like hey right, yeah, couple yeah. right now <laughs> <laughs> right here right now let's go yeah pretty much um if you're if you're trying to do you know like snow or something weather dependent yeah for sure um well awesome okay so now we're going to turn a little bit from your business specifically to um talking to other spouses about running a business uh part of the i don't know if you've watched any of the rest of these um interviews but part of my goal is to encourage spouses who are thinking about it and kind of on the fence or maybe a little maybe a little nervous or afraid to start something um to encourage them like to give it a shot you know um yes. follow your dreams even if you have to move every three years and that kind of stuff so um if say your neighbor came over and they said to you i'm thinking about starting a business and it could be any business not necessarily photography anything out there but they're thinking about starting their own business um, out of their house or whatever their own private thing what advice would you give to them based on what you've learned? Honestly, it would be based off of trying to research what you want to go into. Because again, with, let's just bring it back to photography just to make it like easier. Um, 
with photography, you don't necessarily always need a license. It's better if you have one, especially if you want to go into like event photography. But if you're going to stick towards like senior photos, headshots, you know, very small things, a lot of people don't have licenses for that, which I mean, when you're first starting out, that's perfectly fine. It's a good way to just save up on money, see if it's really for you. Mm -hmm. um, and what I always tell, especially since I'm still kind of like mentoring people is it's not about the camera, you know, sure the camera has different resolution and colors and all of that, but it's all about you, you know, they're not paying for a camera. Anyone can take photos. They're paying for the experience of going out there. Do you know how to pose them? Do you know how to interact with them? Do you know how to, you know, do any of that? Mm -hmm. um, that's what I'd say for a photographer sense. Um, I personally used to have an Etsy shop. Again, living in Orlando, I made Disney ears, like Mickey ears and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, that is more merchandising based. You have to figure out how to just put yourself out there, you know, find different outlets, post different pages, even if you're annoying everybody. <laughs> like, you're just trying to market yourself, you know. Someone might see it today, forget about it, mm -hmm. see it again, I don't know, next week, realize, oh, hey, I have a trip that I need this for. And, you know. Um, Again, Etsy is a really good market in general. There's a lot of very artistic people and you're able to merchandise yourself there. I don't know, I feel like starting a business, especially when you're a spouse, is probably the best way to get some sort of side income as well. Yeah. You know, the job market, especially right now, is really hard. Um, but what I've realized, you know, I work hospitality, there's a ton of hotels hiring over here, but, mm -hmm. They look at my resume and they're like why did you only work here for four months you know yeah um i'm just like we have to keep moving there's not you know like a steady place that i can be at and just you know say hey we got leave i gotta go you know right, right. so well that's why, I like to, <laughs> that's why i like to encourage the your own business if it, if you're up for it i mean obviously not everybody it's not the right thing for everybody to do as far yeah. as running their own business um, it does take a ridiculous amount of work. I know a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to do my own business and I'll set my own hours and it'll be so great. I'll get to do it. It's not how it works in reality. Like it is not, <laughs> it's actually like you just always are working. There's no hours. You just are, it's nonstop, but um, there's definitely benefits to it as well. I want to throw out, cause you mentioned that people look at your resume and they think, well, why, why is this so short or why? And they, obviously they draw conclusions. I mean, I've been in that boat too. They draw conclusions. They assume you're a military spouse when you're in a military community. I want to say for anybody watching, if you're out there on the job hunt, just be aware. It is actually illegal for them to ask you if you're a military spouse. It's technically illegal for them to discriminate against you because you're a military spouse. You're never going to be able to prove that, unfortunately, that that's why they didn't hire you. Um, and looking at your resume, they'll probably draw conclusions, but just be aware, you do not have to share that information with an employer. Um, but at the same time, like you said, you can't just, well, this is when block leave is, this is when I have to take leave. They may not let you, you know, they're not always, yeah. even if you get the job, not always necessarily going to be flexible um, or he's about to deploy or he's getting back from it. They're not always going to let you just take off whenever it works for the service member schedule. And obviously the military lets the service member off when it works for them. So um, that's another <laughs> advantage of running your own business is that you can kind of, to some extent, plan around those things. So, and that's why I like to say it's more of like a side thing. Sure, you can act as a full time until you get a job, and that's perfectly fine. If you find the clients, you get the money for it, mm -hmm. go for it. Um, but at the end of the day, you still have to worry about I mean, just long-term things as well like I'd love to be a full-time photographer and consider this you know the end for me but I mean down the line what's to say I'll have a 401k or you know some sort of retirement plan um a lot of people are able to plan for that but that's just not me <laughs> so I mean if you really think that that's something that you want to go into just say look a little bit more into it research goes a long way in that sense yeah um and also with job hunting and all of that. Um, it's one thing where they'll 
tell you, you know, like, oh, hey, he's military. Thank you for your service, blah, 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 blah. Um, I applied to one of the hotels over here in Junction City and interview went amazing. And at the very end of it, he was like, well, I don't trust your resume. I don't trust this. I don't trust that. I have to call all of your past employers. I'll contact you by Wednesday and let you know. And then Wednesday came around, there was no contact. I reached out, nothing happened. And then like a month later, he was like, hey, here's the job. I'm like, no, that's that's not how this works. You know, like it's not just that your convenience, you know. Yeah. It's another thing of trying to stand your ground. I know work is hard right now and finding things is hard, but the most convenient option isn't always the best option. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I keep trying to tell myself that too, because <laughs> again, that was like one of the few jobs that I've actually been offered. But I don't know, he like changed everything on me at that point. He was like, oh, I heard you work night audits. I want you to work overnight. I'm like, the reason I'm here is to be with him. If I can't right. see him, if I can't like do any of that, then, you know, like it kind of takes away from the point. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, but it was at his convenience and I'm not gonna let somebody else just take control of my life like that, you know? Right. It um, does, doesn't um, speak well for how you'll be treated if you were to take the job. So, I mean, just a general word of advice to other spouses. <laughs> sure. Just keep yourself on top of everything too. I know that they're here, they're serving mm -hmm. and it sucks when they leave, but it's not worth putting yourself in some sort of like debt to someone else, you know? Sure. You shouldn't be in a job that's gonna end up taking over your life. Mm -hmm. You know, keep your happiness in control. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Okay, well back to your business a little bit. How do people reach out to you? How do they find out about your work? Um, what do they need to do if they are looking for a photographer and want to talk to you about it? All right, so my website is usually the easiest place to get in contact with me. It goes directly to my email. I get notifications on it. Um, all of my work is on my website. Um, I won't say every photo, but at least one photo from every shoot, um, <laughs> especially the most recent ones. I tried to rebrand myself, change my editing around a little bit. Of course, there's less like sun and green here right now. So Sure. I had to kind of take that out just to <laughs> appeal towards our current season. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, most of my work is on my website, which is artinaflash.mypixieset.com. Right. Um, it's also tagged on my Facebook page, which is also just Art in a Flash with my initials, SRH. Um, Instagram, I have a little bit of work on there as well. Okay. I tend to shy away from posting um, my images on social media just because you know people can right. take them, remove watermarks, all of that stuff. Um, but I do post here and there just to kind of like update it every now and then let people know that I'm still there. Um, so there's all of that stuff if they want to just see my work. Um, I do reach out a lot on the spouse pages. Um, I'm typically always looking for some couples or something um, to shoot just because it does get a little boring here sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm still trying to finish my rebranding and get some more pictures in just so that I can fully show sure. how it all looks right now. <laughs> yeah, and I will I will um, paste all of the links to everything you mentioned in the comments of this video. If I forget anything, you're welcome to come in and add that, of course, um, as soon as it's done. So. Awesome. Any, that's all I've got for you. Any other, um, anything else you want to tell our audience? Anything else you want to share about your business that I didn't think to ask? <laughs> well, I think we covered most of the bases. Um, again, just put it out there. Um, I am still looking for people to shoot. So, I mean, prices aren't super firm on my site and I kind of make it clear um, on the like contact me page as well. Like if you are in need of a session, just leave a comment, message me, you know, email me through my website and we can always just work out some sort of inquiry. Like let's say you don't need an hour shoot and you just want like 10 photos, you know, you need headshots. Sure. We can always work down a price. I mean, it's 
again, it's COVID. It's one of those things where I know the year has been rough. Uh, like I'm not trying to make it any worse. Um, so I try to work down on prices as much as possible. Um, I don't know. I also just use it as like a social out, like broadcasting thing. Sure. It's a great way to know other couples and just hang out for a little bit. Um, but besides that, I believe we covered everything. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Well, it was great talking to you. Everybody out there, when I post her Facebook page and all of those links, make sure you go follow them. Even if you're not looking for a photographer right now, we try to show um, as much support as possible to all our spouses. Um, and, and yeah, let Samantha know if you need photographs. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Yeah.